Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In previous video, we have solved various problems related to the plane scale. Now in this video, let's see what is diagonal scale and we'll also solve one problem related to the diagonal scale. So let's start. So plane scale only show two units or units and its subdivision, right? Like meter and decimeter, kilometer and hectometer, centimeter and uh, decimeter, right? In order to increase the accuracy, one can further divide the subdivision into equal number of parts. So in order to increase the accuracy of this plane scale, I want to divide this distance one decimeter into some equal number of parts using some diagonal line, right? Which results in a diagonal scale. So diagonal scale is used when very minute distance such as a 0.1 millimeter are to be accurately measured or when measurements are required in a three units. For example, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter or yard, foot and inch or 100 meter, 10 meter or 1 meter. If we want to represent a measurement in this range, right, we can, we have to use a diagonal scale. So plane scale shows meter and decimeter here. Two units that are uh, represented is meter and decimeter. So we know one meter is equivalent to 10 decimeter, isn't it? The minimum distance to be measured using the plane scale is one decimeter. So using this scale, we can show one decimeter. If we want to measure one centimeter, which is equivalent to 0.1 decimeter uh, using this, then we have to divide first subdivision into 10 equal parts. So we have to divide this length into 10 equal parts, right? So that's what we will do in a diagonal scale. So a diagonal scale consists of a rectangle uh, divided into suitable number of equal parts or units, the first of which is subdivided into smaller parts with a diagonal line. Uh, diagonal scale represent either three units like uh, meter, decimeter, centimeter or kilometer, hectometer, decameter or 100 meter, 10 meter or 1 meter. So in this range, if we want to represent any three units, so we can use the diagonal scale. For example, here there is this uh, meter, then 1 meter is equivalent to 10 decimeter. We have to use a diagonal line. Right. So we will divide this length into proportionally 10 equal parts using this diagonal line. So three units that we are uh, represent using the diagonal scale is meter, decimeter and centimeter. Another way we can represent kilometer, hectometer and decameter. And a similar way, let's say if this first division is 5 kilometer, then we have to divide this into five equal parts to to get our one kilometer isn't it so i have divided this into five equal part to get one kilometer one kilometer is further divided into 10 parts using this horizontal line so in that way we can divide this one kilometer into 10 equal parts so one kilometer is equivalent to 10 hectometer so we will get that minute distance i hope you understand the concept small division of salt lines are obtained so here this is a small division let's say this rectangle is represented on a larger scale over here so this is that rectangle uh, rectangle so ab indicates one decimeter now let's join with this diagonal line this is also equivalent to one decimeter if we divide this height into 10 equal parts so by using this diagonal line, what we are doing, we are proportionally decreasing or we are proportionally uh, dividing this length into 10 equal parts. So being AB equal to 1 decimeter, below that, that would be 0.9 decimeter, then below that 0 0.8, 0 0.6, that way we are dividing all this uh, height and at this point it will be 0 decimeter, so 0 to that way we are dividing this length. So this uh, distance represent proportionally reducing in, in, in 10 parts, right? So being 1 decimeter over here, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, up to 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 decimeter. So 0 0.1 decimeter is equivalent to 1 centimeter. 
so this way we are dividing this one decimeter into 10 equal parts so this is the diagonal principle that we are using in a diagonal scale i hope you understand the concept this distance indicates 0.9 decimeter this distance indicate 0.8 similar way all the distance we can measure so so this way we are dividing one decimeter into 10 equal parts being zero over here then at, at the first line this would be 0.1 decimeter or one centimeter two deci, uh, 0.2 decimeter or two centimeter this way we are dividing this a small distance into 10 equal parts so this is called a diagonal principle right i hope you understand what is diagonal principle steps to be followed for solving the diagonal scale so most of the steps would be similar to the plane scale problem so first step is find out the rf representative fraction and maximum distance to be measured using scale second is calculate the length of scale using this formula length of scale is equivalent to rf into maximum distance to be measured draw a rectangle having length equal to length of scale and select a height in such a way that it can easily divide into 10 equal parts like 50 millimeter so if we choose 50 millimeter as your height of rectangle then it can easily divide it into 10 equal parts 5 millimeter each next step zero should be placed at the end of the first main division between the unit and its subdivision from 0 mark a primary unit should be numbered to the right secondary unit to the left name of the all the units should be stated clearly below or at the respective ends and name of the scale or its rf should be mentioned below the scale so these are the steps that we have to follow for preparing the diagonal scale let's see one problem a uh, area of 144 square centimeter on a map represent an area of 36 square kilometer on the field so this is nothing but an rf right? find the rf of this scale for this map and draw a diagonal scale to show kilometer hectometer and decameter and to measure up to 10 kilometer indicate on the scale distance of 7 kilometer 5 hectometer and 6 decameter and 9.3 hectometer and 9 decameter so we already know what is uh, rf in case of area right so it should be under root of area of rf is equivalent to area on drawing divided by actual area of object so area of drawing is 144 cent, uh, centimeter square and area of actual area of the object is 36 kilometer square so if we further simplify this then we will get our rf is equivalent to 2 into 10 to minus 5 so this is our rf now maximum distance to be measured is a 10 kilometer so length of scale is equivalent rf into maximum distance to be measured so if we simplify this we will get our length of scale is equivalent to 200 millimeter now let's now in the next step using this length of scale 200 millimeter draw a rectangle having length equal to 200 and height is equivalent to 50 millimeter so we have to choose height in such a way that it can easily divide into 10 equal parts so for simplicity choose a 50 millimeter height in all the diagonal scale right now maximum distance to be measured is 10 kilometers so we have to divide this into 10 equal parts so 200 millimeter divided by 10 20 millimeter each so using scale we can easily divide into 10 equal parts so let's say we have divided put 0 at the end of first main division and on the right hand side our primary unit that is a kilometer on the left hand side our secondary unit that is hectometer so one kilometer is equivalent to how many hectometer we know one kilometer is equivalent to 10 hectometer so further let's divide this length into 10 equal parts now this division is equivalent to 20 millimeter again using scale we can divide into 10 equal parts 2 millimeter each so using scale let's divide into 10 equal parts and we have to draw a diagonal line joining 0 with the 1 
joining this zero with the one over here right so let's say i have drawn this diagonal line now again we have to divide this height into 10 equal parts so minimum distance right now that we can measure using this scale is one hectometer we have to further divide one hectometer into 10 equal parts so let's divide this height into 10 equal parts let's do the numbering 1 to 10 so if we divide 1 hectometer into 10 equal parts we will get a decameter isn't it so our tertiary unit is a decameter now below below this scale let's show the rf so our rf is 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 so this is my complete diagonal scale which shows two three unit kilometer hectometer and decameter isn't it now let's represent this uh, measurement 7 kilometer 5 hectometer and 6 decameter so 7 kilometer 7 is over here 7 kilometer then 5 decameter so uh, 7 up to 5 this is my 5 decameter and 6 sorry 5 hectometer and 6 decameter so we have to move diagonally diagonally up up to 6 so this is 6 so this will indicate my measurement 7 kilometer 5 hectometer and 6 decameter let's give some name a and b and we will show this distance a and b outside this scale so a b is equivalent to 7 kilometer 5 hectometer and 6 decameter Similar way, second measurement is 9.3 hectometer. So, hectometer is over here, 9 is over here. So, we have to move diagonally up, up to 3. So, this will indicate 9.3 hectometer. C and D. Similar way, 9 decameter. So, 9 decameter actually is equivalent to 0.9 hectometer. So, we have to move from 0 to diagonally up, up to 9. So, this distance indicate 9 decameter E and F. So, E F is equivalent to 9 decameter. I hope you understand the concept of diagonal scale and how to construct a diagonal scale for a particular problem. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.